Okay, so that's the intro to this Joan Jet Classic. Um, what we do, we're normal tuning, and what we're going to do is start out with three hits on this E, and then on our fourth hit, we'll slide up to a G. So it'll sound like this. Back to E. Then we're going to hit D twice, and then E twice. So all together it should sound like this. One, two, three, four. Alright, the next part we'll do are notes. We'll hit the uh, fifth string at the fifth fret three times. To six, one, back to three, on five, back to six, one. We'll hit five on the fifth fret once, and then E twice. Then you start over. You want to hit those three. So let's do that all together slowly. One, two, three, four. she does. I've watched Joan play this live. She just does a um, on the sixth string from seven to nine. That starts the verse. Then we're going to hit E twice to A twice. Okay, and then A to B. to a G power chord, to A power chord, repeat, and then back to a B. Now this B, there's two guitars. You'll hear one doing this. Alright, so what he's doing, that second guitar, is playing on the first and second string from seven to eight. Strike it, slide, and strike it and slide. All right, and then she's gonna go into the chorus. Now we'll go over the chorus next. So while the guitar is doing, Jones is just hanging on that B. And then she goes into the chorus. The chorus is just similar to the verse, but we're playing more of a chord. And then you go back into another uh, intro. Okay, again, because there's two guitars, during the second verse, she does the same carry through the first time. Alright, and then B to, or A to uh, B. And then B to E. Now, when we do this next, uh, E to A, there's another guitar going. He ends up on A with her. Alright, so what that second guitar is doing is he's sliding on the third string from two to four, hitting the first string open, then sliding back, and then pulling off. So we have this. 
Then it's a pull off from the third string two to open, fourth string two to open, and even the fifth string two to open, which leads us to the A. So we have this all together slowly. One, two, three, four. And that's while she's doing. That, that you'll hear that guitar listen for it and if you have two guitars you can do that lick but if not it's no big deal the second time through she'll go from her A to B and then back to the pre-chorus and the other guitar is doing She'll go into another chorus, and towards the end of the chorus, the, the lead guitar will start, and you can hear them go like this. I'll play the lead at speed, and then we'll slow it down. So what he's doing for this solo really is in the mix, but you'll be able to relate to it because it kind of follows the uh, chords in the background, all right? So what they're doing is five hammering on to seven on the sixth string, ending up on five on the fifth string, and they'll do that twice. Then you go back to seven on the sixth, five on the fifth, and this is where the, the chords da 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 da, you'll hear seven twice, back to seven, and then he goes seven on the sixth string, pull off to open, fifth string, and then open, and then seven on the fifth to five on the um, fourth string. So we have this all together. Then we're going to slide from the seventh fret of the fourth string up to nine. Catch a seven on the third, back to nine on the fourth, and then seven hammer on to nine on the third. So again, we have this. Then there's some double stops. We're going to play seven on the third string and eight on the second together. Two hits. And then we're going to move our first finger down to the um, first string and play the first and second. Then back to that third string. And then we'll do a pull off from seven to nine on the third string. End up on nine on the fourth to seven, nine on the uh, third. So we have this all together. Let's take it from the uh, sliding from seven to nine. One, two, three, four. what we do is we're going to slide up to the on the second string up to 12 and hit 10 we'll do that three times then we're going to slide it up to uh, 13 on the second and 12 on the first walk it down 10 I'm sorry 12 on the second to uh, 10 on the first to, um, let's see, that's 10 on the second and 9, and then 8 and uh, 7. Then what we'll do, so again, let's take it from the slide up.
then what we do is we're going to pull off nine on the third string to seven and hit nine on the fourth. Seven twice on the third. Then we're going to hit nine and then pull it off to seven and slide to five. We have this. We'll start from the eight to seven on the second. So we're pulling up then seven to five. And then we're going to roll down and hit the third string and slide that to nine. And that ends the solo. So I know it's a lot of notes and uh, getting it all right, but let's go again through it slowly. One, two, three, four. So that should help you with the lead. Again, it's sort of buried in the mix, but you can hear certain licks and it'll all pull together. And then they'll go back into the pre-chorus from there. And they'll start again then with the chorus and you'll hear the other guitar, he's just hitting five to seven on the fifth string. So you're back into the chorus. And uh, really, that's the whole song. Um, they'll go through the another chorus and the main riff uh, again. There's another guitar kind of soloing in there, and if you want to solo, you can solo in the E minor, E minor pentatonic, or E minor, or uh, E minor major scale. Um, right in there, we'll get you. Uh, the final solo if you want to and just end up on an E note. So uh, play along with the song and uh, that should help you. Maybe I'll do a play along see if that uh, helps you see how all this fits together.